Sunday morning, about six o'clock. Just wrapped up this cardio session out here. Had a uh, bunch of questions came in yesterday. I appreciate that. Uh, several that were all on the same topic. So I wanted to take a couple of minutes and address that now. And the question revolved around, have you stay on track when the motivation has gone away? And there's a lot that goes into that, right? It's a system, a system comprised of a series of components. So to keep this short, I'll touch on a couple right now. One is on the mindset side of things and the other is on the physical side of things. Mindset, critical, all right? Absolutely critical. You have your goal, right? your long-term mission that you are trying to accomplish. Regardless of what that is, that has to be broken down into a series of short-term objectives. Things you need to do to progressively and sequentially work towards your mission, or your overall end state. Those objectives is where you keep your focus most of the time, right? That usually is enough to get up and get things going, to do the things you need to do to accomplish that objective. There will come a time when that is not working, when that's not getting done, all right? And in that moment, you need to shift. You need to shift your focus onto the long-term mission, all right? So if my objective, that short-term goal, is to get a promotion at work, right? Okay, why do I want a promotion at work? I want a promotion at work because I need to make more money. Okay, fine. Get promoted. All right, that's, you wake up, alarm clock goes off, 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, whatever. Get promoted, get promoted, get promoted. It's just, it's nonstop in your mind. I am going to do these things that I need to do to get promoted. And even that's going to be broken down into a series of even shorter term objectives. Right, and this, this process can go back and back and back and back until you get down to the minute, right? which is what really this comes down to, right? That backwards planning down to such a degree that you are tracking things down to the minute. That's not working though right now. Man, I just, I don't got it. Alarm clock goes off, nah. All the justifications and excuses start coming in. Nah, I don't really need to do this. You know, so rather than thinking about I need to get up now so I can get to work an hour early so I can make more calls or so I can put more time into this project. Whatever that is, that's not working, right? The excuses are taking over your mind and you do not have what it takes to actually do that. Shift, right? So rather than thinking about getting promoted, let's think about that house I wanna buy or that house I wanna build that dream house I want to build for my family, to put my family into a better position, to give my family the best life possible. And you have that envision in your mind. That's the end state, right? That's the mission is to put me and my family in this dream home that I have or that we have collectively as a family, right? You shift to that. You shift to those the big picture goal and you remind yourself that these moments matter this moment right here this matters right I put in the time to develop my plan on how to build that dream home and that had a series of, object of objectives and the one objective I'm working towards right now is get promoted get promoted so I can make more money so I can put down a down payment or whatever it is Backwards plan, backwards plan, backwards plan. Shit, you know what? This moment does matter. I need to get up and I need to go do this right now. All right. That mindset is critical. For me, I have, maybe you could look at it as an advantage. Maybe. Um, because I live in a world where I have nine other guys who I 
consider brothers, who I consider family, that have a minimal level of expectation of me, which is pretty high. It needs to be in my line of work. So what I do and what I don't do doesn't just affect me, right? It affects my boys. And in my line of work, that could quite literally mean life and death, right? So they don't just deserve my very best, right? They demand it. Their families demand it. Right? And this is just looking at me from, from, from the professional side. My personal side is really no difference. My family deserves that. They expect that. They demand that. So it's not, man, I really should get up right now and go train. Or I really should go read that book. Or I really should go work on that brief. No, I am required to go do that. I must go do that. I have determined that these things are things that I need to do in order to provide those around me who have expectations of me that level of performance, right? That level of leadership, that level of camaraderie. The expectation is there. I have to do this, 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 and this. It's not a matter of me wanting to do it. I have to do it, right? I need to do these things as badly as I need oxygen. Let that set in for a second. I need to do this as bad as I need oxygen. And when you want something as bad as you want to breathe, you're going to get it done. You're going to find a way because you have to, right? It's that, it's that burn the boats mentality, but <clears throat> that alone doesn't get it done, right? That requires them, you'd actually do a whole lot of stuff, right? That work has to, go, has to then go into it. So that's just a touch on an aspect of the mindset. The physical thing that I want to talk about right now, uh, the power is the power of mementos. What I refer to as mementos. And I really, I stole this from Arnold. Um, and he talks about when he was a kid and he just put up, he put up pictures all around his walls, on his ceiling right around his room in the bathroom of people he idolized, people he wanted to be, professional athletes, early strong men, bodybuilders, boxers. And he used these images to keep him on track, to keep him focused and motivated, right? I use that same tool. I'm looking at my, one of my whiteboards right here in front of me. It's got today's reason on it. Right right now, today's reason, and it's been the reason now for the past about four or five days, it says, tomorrow is not a guarantee. I change that, you know, daily, every couple of days. And I have stuff like this all, all around me, right? They're on the mirror in my bathroom. They're in my truck. They're in my locker at work. They're at my desk at work, right? I have these visual cues that are there. Now, when things are good, I don't really need this stuff. When I wake up and I'm fired up and I'm ready to go, I don't need that. When I do need it is when I'm sucking, right? When I'm hurting, when I'm tired, when the excuses start to come in, right? Because I'm like anybody else. My mind gets in the way. My mind will tell me, nah, man, you don't need to get up at four o'clock this morning. You get it before 30 and, and, and you'll be good. It's in those moments that I require or I lean on things like this to remind me, now I do need to get up at four because I need that extra 30 minutes because I need to do this, 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 this. Again, I need to do it. I must do it. Those are two, those are two things to take away. All right, the mindset and a physical, tangible tool you can use. Discipline is hard, right? 
It's supposed to be hot. Discipline is work. That's that's what it is. It's work. And what makes di- what makes discipline difficult is that it is a combination of sacrifice and time prioritization. Because you're either doing one of two things when you are being disciplined. You are either stopping yourself from doing something you want to do and or you are forcing yourself to doing something you need to do. That's what discipline is, right? Discipline is not sacrificing something you don't like. That's not a sacrifice. That's easy. That's just doing what you want, right? It's, you have to make yourself do things that you need to do, right? Now, there's a balance, right? There's, there needs to be a balance. Your life can't only be what you need to do only, in my opinion. You need to do things you want to do. You need to enjoy what you're doing, right? That's going to make it a lot easier to be passionate and excel at the things you're doing if they're things you enjoy. That discipline is key. If you are disciplined, if you are driven, motivation can come and go all day without a, without a problem. If you're motivated, great. Just operate maybe at, at a slightly higher level. If you're not motivated in that moment or in those moments, you do it anyway because you need to. All right? Turn your shoulds into musts. That's it.